Hi, this is Scott Hanselman. You might know me from my videos on Windows 8. This video is about Windows Phone 8.1, and I'm using a real uh, Nokia Lumia 920. It's last year's model. It's not the latest Lumia, but I was able to update it to Windows Phone 8.1 like the Lumias will be able to. And I'm connecting it using the new screen projection feature. So if I go to Settings and come down here to project my screen, you can see that I'm actually talking to my Windows PC right now. This is a real phone, not an emulator. Uh, one of the first things that you'll notice is if you pull down from the top of the screen, you have an action center now. It's like notification center on an iPhone. And uh, if I had new emails, they would show up here under notifications. But I also get these quick buttons along the top here. So I can turn rotation lock and airplane mode, turn on and off Bluetooth. But even cooler, if I go into settings and go to notifications and actions, I can change those buttons along the top. So if I didn't want this button to be Bluetooth, I could have that turn on, for example, internet sharing. I'm actually going to go over here to project my screen under advanced. And I'm going to turn on show touch. So now you can see my fingers when I touch the screen. So pull down from the top, you get notification center. You can see I turned internet sharing on and you can change those settings as you like. It also seems like they've sped up the animations somehow. As I move around the uh, from the application to application, from email to phone to calendar, things are snappier, which is pretty nice. They've also updated the browser. I'm gonna to go to Internet Explorer and here's my blog. And if I click on the dot, dot, dot in the corner here and click on pin to start, it says pinning to start, and it's going to drop a little square, there I am, of my blog. I'm going to pick it up. I'll move it over here. And you'll notice that it's actually flipping over. It's showing me the latest articles from my blog. I went and updated some meta tags in my uh, blog. It's really, really easy to do. If you search for uh, pin live tile on Hanselman.com, you can do this for your blog. That now works on Windows Phone 8.1. So I have my own live tile without having to write an, a, write an application. Uh, there's a number of new Sense applications like Data Sense that's showing me how much Wi-Fi I've used, how much cell I've used, and more importantly, what applications I used it with. So here you can see I've used 5 meg of Wi-Fi on Internet Explorer. This is really nice as well. You can go and set a limit. So you can say, well, I have a monthly limit and I want the phone to warn me. So really, really helpful if you don't want to hit your, your cell phone limit. There's data sense, but there's also uh, battery saver. And in battery saver, it tells me what apps use how much battery. Here's my email and whether or not they're allowed to use battery or run in the background or when battery saver is on. So for example, you can see here Instagram and Cortana are allowed to use the battery even if battery saver is on. So you've got data sense and you've got battery sense. They've also updated the store. It got a nice visual refresh. If I go into something like Bad Piggies, Got my screenshots at the bottom there. It's a little bit more attractive uh, store experience. I like it. I've got all the applications that I'm used to, like I've got Instagram here, Facebook, and Twitter. They've also added a podcast application from Bing. So if I click on Podcasts, it's a dedicated application. I've gone and searched for a few podcasts and added them. I can click on showing and see just the ones that are downloaded. Another nice feature is that when you subscribe to an audio podcast, you can ask it to only allow you to stream that podcast. So you can say, do you want to download this regularly so it's available offline, or do you want to just keep track of what you've listened to and stream it when it's time? So that's a nice touch as well. Make sure that you explore the settings application because a lot of stuff going on here, like the start menu and the themes. Even though this is a 920, which is the lower resolution original Windows Phone 8, I can say show more tiles now and get the widescreen 
super high res 1080p experience, a lot more tiles, a lot more space if I want. Gives me a lot more room for things like double wide tiles. That is now an option for phones that are not 1080p high definition phones. That's under start and theme. I can also choose a background photo. So I'll pick a, uh, a photograph here and make this my background. Look, I just got a notification there. It just showed up. So I just set a background photo. When I hit the start button now, check this out. Now I've got this background photo showing through my live tiles. See that? So some applications like Twitter and Facebook have their own tiles. They're not see-through. But any transparent tile will show your parallax view on that background there. It's a really nice touch. You can have your kids, family members, whatever you like as a background. Going back over to settings, because there's a lot of cool new settings, if I go to email and go and look at a particular account, you can say, well, I only want my email downloaded based on my usage. So if you're only getting email on the weekdays, it will notice that and then automatically just download stuff on weekdays. I can also go over into settings, into notifications and actions. Here are the different applications that are allowed to send notifications, like Facebook can send banners and things like that, as well as quiet mode. So I can go to quiet hours here, and I can say, well, I want to be quiet right now. You can see a little moon showed up there in the corner. Or I can say automatic rules, and I can say turn on quiet time on weekdays from 11 p.m. to 8 a.m. But I've also got this idea of a breakthrough rule. I can make my phone quiet and don't bother me during these times, except if someone calls two times in three minutes. Obviously, it must be urgent. Or does my inner circle get to break through? I can go and edit my inner circle. And these are people that I know or talk to a lot. So here it's suggesting my friend's Mads. So I'll make Mads in my inner circle. So now quiet hours don't apply to Mads. I just pulled down to my notification center just to see what's happened since I started this video. You can see that Facebook notification as well as a couple of emails have shown up. I can clear those or click on them and go directly to that application. I can go into email here and start sending myself an email. And the keyboard has been updated to support uh, a kind of a swipe type of an email so I can draw a line. So you've got that built in out of the box, that kind of swipe experience. Uh, it's a little weird, but it works uh, rather nicely. One other feature that I want to point out that is not new, but is still really, really cool, is this idea of driving mode. So if you have Bluetooth, you can set this up where you'll automatically text people back if they text you while you're driving. So you pair the Bluetooth in your car, and then if uh, someone uh, text you, it says ignore text, and it will text them back, I'm driving right now, please don't bother me. So a very useful thing to set up for the kids. I also noticed under sync my settings here, uh, it says across your Microsoft devices. So that'll be interesting to see things like Internet Explorer right now are turned on. So I'm syncing setting across Microsoft devices. So if I go back over here and click on Internet Explorer, remember that we had my blog up here. Watch this. If I click on the tabs and click on other, you can see I've actually got a YouTube video open on my computer. That's the name of my computer, Hanselman X1. So here is a tab that I have open on IE11. So you can uh, look at a website on your computer at home, leave, can't remember what it was, but you have that tab open. It'll be here waiting for you on your phone as well. And those videos now include HTML5 video. So you've got accelerated HTML5 video in uh, inside of IE11 now, which is nice. Finally, let's take a look at Cortana. Cortana, of course, is the name of the artificial intelligence from the Halo series of video games. So I go down here and click on Cortana, or I can hold down the search button, the hardware button on the lower right corner of the phone, but I'll click on Cortana. Cortana starts up. I've indicated I'm interested in uh, health news, 
So uh, I could have that show up, or I can say hide it. Here's entertainment news. I can just say, you know, ask her anything. How old is Oprah? Oprah Winfrey is 60 years old. How tall is Hugh Jackman? Six feet, two inches tall. What's the population of Zimbabwe? 13.72 million in 2000. Mexican food near here? Here are nine Mexican restaurants. Directions to McDonald's. Here are ten locations for McDonald's. What's my schedule like tomorrow? I'm finding one event tomorrow. Here it is. Set up an appointment tomorrow with Scott Hunter at 10 a.m. What do you want to call it? Talk about nothing. Sure thing. Add talk about nothing to your calendar for tomorrow at 10 a.m. Is that right? Cancel. Cancelled. Track United Airlines Flight 250. United Airlines Flight 250 is scheduled to depart on time from Portland at 7.54 a.m. locally. Text MADS. Okay, text MADS Christensen. What would you like to say? Hey, I'm testing the Cortana thing. It seems to work okay. All right. You want to text Mads Christensen. So that's just a little bit of a taste of uh, what Cortana can do. But so far, it's been uh, pretty impressive. Again, this is still the preview of Windows Phone 8.1, but it's definitely going to make the Windows Phone more competitive. And uh, you should definitely get it when it comes out. Be sure to check out the rest of my videos uh, on both Windows Phone and Windows 8 and 8.1. I hope you enjoyed this, and let me know what you thought in the comments.